Hey everyone, welcome to Vlogmas Day 22. For my hot chocolate, I chose the hazelnut flavor. And then for day three, in our countdown for Jane we have mango peach lime. Trying the jam first. It kind of tastes like peach and mango. You can't taste the lime, but the texture of it tastes like, like baby food. So that's a no for me. All right, and then for the hot chocolate. That's actually really good. It almost tastes like um, you made hot chocolate using Nutella. All right, day three of my metal puzzle calendar. We have this. It looks like a pretzel and a triangle. So I got these apart and I cannot figure out how to get them back together. Let's see who you get. I got the black spider. Ooh. I got the rear spider man. All right, let's see who Delaney gets. I'm gonna see. I think it's rear. I hope it's this guy. You got Forky. Let me see him. Nope, not that one. Is it this one? I think so. Nope, not that one. It's the bag. All right, what's in there? I hope it's not what I think it is. You got stickers, some little balls. Ornaments. Yeah, that's paint. We're going to make some life-size gingerbread men. Hey, you know what we're going to do? What? We're going to make life-size gingerbread men. So we're going to trace your bodies on some paper, and you can decorate them with all these things. had left you a note and they're stuck in a jar uh, what's it say read it what's it say we heard your you went were were and going going to see the Christmas lights, lights, and we go go with you 
So they're stuck in that jar so you can carry them with us to go see Christmas lights. <laughs> they must really like the Christmas lights. Yeah. <laughs> of my 12 days of Glomus, we have a pomegranate peel off mask. All right, so day 22 of our Disney countdown to Christmas, we have the Holiday Gift Hunt, which is a Little Mermaid story. Ariel and Eric were enjoying a nice walk along the beach when their dog, Max, ran up to them. He was carrying a waterlogged boot. Max, Eric cried. I've been searching for that boot for months. Burying things and digging them up is his favorite game, Ariel said. Prince, The princess smiled. At least he knew where... What to give Eric for Christmas when Ariel and Eric returned to the castle. Carlotta told them it was time for tea. Already, said Grimsby, checking his pocket watch. What does Ariel do? It is Ariel. Hmm, must be broken. Ariel smiled. Now she knew what to get Grimsby, too. Isn't this Christmas tree beautiful, Ariel remarked. Carlotta suggested we use red and gold ornaments this year. Those are my favorite colors, you know, Carlotta said. The next day, Ariel went into town to look for Christmas gifts. She bought a new pair of boots and a ship in a bottle for Eric, an elegant pocket watch for Grimsby, and golden ruby necklace for Carlotta. Max's present was easy. She bought him the biggest bone she could find. Back at the castle, Ariel was wrapping the gifts when she noticed that Max's bone was missing. Suddenly, she had heard a loud chewing noise coming from behind the chair. Max was gnawing happily on his bone he had gotten. she had gotten for him. No opening presents early, Max, Ariel scolded. Then, picking up her wrapped presents, she hid them under the bed. On Christmas morning, Ariel went to get her gifts, but there was nothing under the bed. The gifts were missing. Ariel, Eric called. It's time for presents. Ariel joined Eric by the tree. Is it all right if we exchange gifts later, she asked. I told my friends I'd meet them on the beach. Of course, Eric replied. Come on, everyone. We're going to, down to the water for a Christmas visit. Lounger, Sebastian, and Scuttle were waiting for Ariel at the beach. Scuttle handed Ariel a small chest. We thought these jingles would come in handy now that you live on land. Ariel opened the lid and saw all sorts of treasures that she had loved to collect. When she was a mermaid. Thank you, she said. I love them. They're just wonderful. Just then, Max ran up holding a boot. Your present, Ariel said to Eric. Now she knew where the missing gifts were. Max had buried them. Surprise, everyone, Ariel said. We're going to, on a treasure hunt. Ariel, you are amazing, Eric said. Only you could turn the holidays into a brand new adventure. Soon, Eric, Carlotta, Max and Grimsby were digging around the beach. Each time a present was found, Scuttle delivered it to its owner. The treasure hunt was the most fun. Everyone, anyone could remember having a Christmas morning in a very long time. We should have a Christmas treasure hunt every year, Eric told Ariel when the, all the gifts were found. Ariel smiled. It had been the best day full of surprises, but she had learned at some time that sometimes the most unexpected treasures 
were the best. The 